Welcome to this joint conversation between me, Kate MacDonald, Handheld Press, and Lucinda Gosling of the Mary Evans Picture Library. We're going to be talking about book covers because a lawful lot of the Handheld Press book covers come from Mary Evans. The next picture, um, Helen Simpson, The Outcast and the Right, which will bring out May 2022. This is another collection of supernatural short fiction by a woman who's pretty much been forgotten. Now this has a Margaret Kennedy connection because in Where Stands a Winged Century, Margaret Kennedy is looking after not only her own three children, but a young girl who is the daughter of very close friends of the family because the mother is dying of cancer. And the mother does die of cancer. So Clemence, who is the young girl, stays with the Kennedys and then she's a family friend. And um, Helen Simpson, was the woman who died. She was an Australian novelist. She was of Huguenot descent. She married a, a distinguished um, surgeon uh, whose name was Simpson. And she herself wrote short fiction, but somehow it never took. She sh sold short stories. She wrote novels, some were good. She wrote plays. And that's presumably how she met Margaret Kennedy because they were writing at the same time in London. And then she died of cancer very early in her life, uh, 1940. So we republished one of the short stories in Women's Weird 2, and I, that, that story I love to bits. It's about a young girl discovering that she has witchcraft powers, and it's, it's so scary. And Melissa put together this collection, and we realised that the collection is all about stories about landscape, about how landscape and nature interact with the human to produce blind terror in various degrees of it. So we wanted a picture of a woman outdoors not necessarily in a position of vulnerability, like so many ghastly thrillers are, but in the sense of this is a spooky situation. And then you found us this beautiful, beautiful graphic design or this, this illustration of a ghostly figure in a, in a woodland setting. A woodland. It's, it's, it's French, isn't it? It's, it's, it uh, is, and I know nothing about, you know, it's one of those uh, pictures which comes from a French magazine. I know nothing about the magazine, mm -hmm. uh, Cocorico and all the artists, Louis Popineau, but mm -hmm. it's another, it's from 1900 again, and it's still, it's, it, again, it's got that really strong, contrasting yeah. poster graphic style. Yeah, um, it's, which I find really attractive. Yeah. So, um, in a way, it's, it's quite like the much more modern clear style that the Hergé and the other uh, cartoonists yeah, in the 50s is. and 60s would have used with a very, yeah. very clear outline. And uh, Nadja did some very clever trickery pokery with the face. I think in the original, there may have been a very faint face sketched in features, but she removed that. So it's a blank white face very clever. No feature, which yeah. I think accentuates the, um, the uncanniness of yeah. this very strange landscape. It's, no, oh, the colours are beautiful in this one. I love those greens. 